everybody welcome back to plum figgy this is tammy all right so it's monday so let's go ahead and get started working in uh the collage weekly planner do a quick flip through like i do every week so this is the first week uh week 32 in this new journal um <laughs> sticky uh something sticky uh and then week 33 here i love this one this one's my favorite <laughs> so far it really is um actually i love all of them in this journal so far the I, the double spread layout i think is really helping me kind of i guess spread my wings in a way to be cliche <laughs> about it um but yeah really like what we've done so far and so then this was last week and oh sorry for my fingers i've got ink all over um see i haven't written my notes yet but I'll go ahead and do that so yeah very fall kind of vibe last week um, I don't know that I meant for that to happen I think it really was um, based off of this and thank you for those of you who said that this was a uh, sort of a bingo card I didn't I, f I kind of wondered that but I you know you don't want to assume um, so anyway okay so let's go ahead and work on week 36 Let me move my bookmark to the next page okay so here are the prompts for week 36 so something that's dark textured paper something round paper with a repeating pattern a place and then bonus a plane sorry for moving that there you go okay so I think this one's going to be an okay one again this week. <laughs> um, off the bat, I'm going to tell you I'm not going to do the bonus for this week of plain. It just is not going to work for what I've got kind of going here. So here's my uh, background for the week. Okay, so something that's dark. I just got a digital kit um, from, gosh, I knew... Every single time. I always forget. Hold on. Uh, I got it right here. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh. Uh, Sunday Fable is her name on Etsy. And it's uh, from, an, from the Enchanted Digital Kit. So I'll go ahead and link her shop down below. She had a really great sale. Uh, a week or so ago on her digital kit. She might still have it going. I don't know. But anyway, um, I really like this uh, photo. Or photo. I really like this art. Um, so I thought that maybe this portion of it or this page of it we could stick on one side and potentially use some more from the other. So uh, this will make an appearance. Okay, so textured paper. I really only have uh, this handmade paper and I've got it in different colors. Um, this one is kind of a uh, yellow, pale, very, very pale yellow. Um, and I thought that this one would go kind of well with the yellow and the flowers. So we'll go ahead and use some of this. Um, okay, something round. This is from another digital kit. Uh, this one's from uh, Bohemian Crafter, uh, and so I'll link this down below too. These were meant to be uh, ephemera pieces, uh, but I like the little circles, so I thought something round, we'll go ahead and use that. Um, and then paper with a repeating pattern. I've got a bunch of these uh, leftovers and more polka dots uh, from another project that I wanted to start at some point but I haven't gotten to um, so I thought one or two of these might work pretty well with what I've got going on here so um, like maybe that one so we'll uh, I'll go ahead and find one that uh, I like don't want to mix flowers necessarily so I'm thinking um, Although, that's really pretty. Well, I'll save that for something else. Actually, I was kind of thinking this one would be really good. 
Maybe we could use two of them. But, uh, yeah, these are all floral, aren't they? <laughs> so, it looks like my... Oh, that wouldn't... No, actually, I don't like that with the yellow background. So, okay. Oh, this was the other one. I was like, I could have sworn there was another version of that. Okay, so we'll choose from those. And then... The last one is a place, and so I decided to use my stamp of the Notre Dame Cathedral, and so I stamped that onto some tea dyed parchment paper, so we'll incorporate that too. So I, it does look like it's still a little bit wet. I sprayed it with an art fixative, so I'm hoping, <laughs> hopefully it will uh, stand up to being played around with. but. Okay, so I went ahead and edged those circle pieces of ephemera with this black. This is just archival black ink. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this here. And we'll go around both sides. Um, and actually, I think I'll do it on the... Since, the, since it's kind of such a dark theme this week, I think this will kind of help things mesh together a little bit more. It's very, very subtle, but actually it makes a kind of a big difference sometimes. So, um, it's a good step to take if you have the time and patience for it. <laughs> so, okay. Well, now I think, I think I'm going to do what I said and and make this most of the right hand page and just kind of do a messy tear along here. Okay. Try and, well, I think I'll just go ahead and Rip this down the middle-ish, sort of, and we'll work with what we've got here. I'm trying to decide if I want to edge this with the black too. You know, I probably should. It's really pretty. You may not see the black in all of the spots, but I think it'll hopefully help out. Okay, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and, yeah, just paste that down and not overthink it. Sorry, let me make this more centered for you. There we go. This, I'm already thinking I'm going to really love this collage, guys. I think it's going to turn out really fun. Okay, so now I've got the rest of this, which I could put over here and just make the background for all. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's really pretty. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, really, really cool. Okay, loving this. So let me put this down, paste this down, and then we can figure out the rest of the pieces of our collage. So, okay, it's been a long weekend for me, guys. A lot of work this weekend. Haven't really had a chance to relax much. I'm sorry I'm quiet. <laughs> Although maybe you haven't noticed. <laughs> I feel very quiet this weekend. Um, okay, so I can tell you I'm pretty much going to want to keep this grounded. Um, and actually, I'm going to get rid of a lot of the extra around the perimeter of this so that it's not taking up so much room. Okay. Alright, 
Um, I don't love necessarily covering all of this paper, but that is the point, I suppose. So, actually, I think maybe it looks better further down. Um, okay, so we've got to get our polka dots in somehow. There's a little bug. <laughs> Do you see that little bug right there? It's like an ant or something. <laughs> um, okay, I got something sticky on me. Okay, so let's see. I did like this idea. Okay, I think I need to just glue this down because I pretty much know I want it to go there. I want to make sure I can still see some of the background around the border. I don't want to cover that completely. Now, I think I had this kind of like that. And then this was kind of something like this. We've got, I don't need tons of this, but I thought this little corner up here wouldn't be bad to include. like that. <laughs> it's not quite what I had in mind. Um, do this. Move that over just a little bit more. Okay. And then... Okay, uh, let me make this raggedy around all four sides, at least three sides, and put some back. got a really tall something happening here and I don't necessarily love it. <laughs> uh, okay, so if we put our notes down here, that will give us room over here. The other thought is we could put the Notre Dame over here, but then both main features would be on that side of the page, which I don't like. So... Okay, we can do this. Can get rid of this hard edge up here. Don't really want to sacrifice some of those flowers, but that's okay. So. I think that is probably up. This is kind of getting lost. There. I'm going to rip this.
screw it up. Okay. So, pull that down just a bit. Pull this over. And then, this could sit there. that either <laughs> okay I had another here's my other one for whatever reason I kind of like that little bug on there and I'm not sure why no I think this needs I think this needs to be over here This is not working for me at all, and I don't know how to fix it. Um, okay, so let me think. Let me think some more. If we put this on top of that, no, I don't like that. I really like this. that there. down there. Stick that there. Okay, so if we did that, it's a little better. I need this to move up higher, so it's kind of catty corner somehow. Is that it? So if we put some more of this paper, I'm looking for a piece that would have a nice flower on it.
you go back where you were. I think that's it, guys. I think I think I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna very quickly <laughs> glue things down. Um, and I'll start from the top down, maybe. Okay, and then I need some black. I guess I have some music note washi here. So I'll just go ahead and use that. So how are you guys doing with this challenge lately? Um, I know for me it's gotten better, um, but it's still been a challenge. I'll tell you what, uh, every week seems like uh, so much fun though. I really have enjoyed doing this all year. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to continue doing it next year or if I want to do something kind of different. Um, if you guys are bored of me doing this or if you think I should do something different but similar next year let me know um, very curious what you think yeah I like that it's kind of cool it's almost like we've got three flowers right here in a way didn't really intend for that but it worked out that way for sure okay so I mean some glue here. And I think I'll use glue stick for this part. And I think this is going to be all done. Make sure I get this straight here. Yes. Well, guys. <laughs> It was a little bit of a struggle, but in the end, I really like how it turned out. So, there is the collage for this week. It's dark and brooding. <laughs> um, if Notre Dame had a, a, a room for a moat or, I don't know, maybe not a moat, but um, I'm thinking maybe a little pond or something. They could have some water lilies. Um you know, outside and other kinds of flowers. It's kind of what I'm thinking of when I look at this. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, kind of simple, um, but I think really interesting. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all soon. Bye.